Hello everyone and welcome to the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. First time here? Don't forget to click the subscribe so you don't miss out on new content. Special bonus, stick around to the end. We got a new blooper reel going for you. Yeah, those clips that don't pass the editing test. Today, I want to share three top tips on how to spot narcissists. But first, I want to give a shout out to Roberta Blake and the other content creators over at Think Media. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the great tips and editing tools. There are many others and we'll get to them in future videos. So what are the top three ways to spot a narcissist? Well, the first one is two different kinds of looks. When you walk into a room, if you're paying attention to everything going on around you, you walk in and you're vibing high, right? People can see that, as I've mentioned previously. So when you look around and you'll see the baby dumb look, and a lot of times that will come off as a look of awe if you don't know what you're looking at. Many of you are probably remembering a time in your life when you used to stand behind somebody that had a little toddler in the shopping cart. And for some reason, that baby just keeps staring at you with this blank look. And we all know that that's just the child scoping you out to see if you're a threat or not. The adult narcissist will have the same look on their face and that's what we refer to as the baby dumb look. Let me share an example of how that works in action. A couple of days ago, I'm at the grocery store. Of course, you know, I'm chipper, I'm happy-go-lucky, bubbly, things are looking great. I'm going through the aisles and all of a sudden I could feel somebody staring at me from behind. So I turn, I glance, and there they were, that baby dumb look on their face. I was like, okay, <laughs> keep walking. The second look when you first meet a narcissist and you're talking about things that you're into, they're asking you questions, you're answering, and you will see overly excited dancing eyes. And that is equivalent to the toddler when they're in a toy store and they get a new toy. You remember that sparkle? It's kind of a mischievous sparkle. Because what the narcissist is doing is they're listening for flaws. They're not really interested in what it is you have to say. They're just listening for a flaw so they can use it later as ammunition. And it's also their way of pretending to be interested in what you're saying. The second way you can spot a narcissist, and I'm going to use an example in the workplace because this is very common. You're standing there doing your thing and all of a sudden you see they're invading your space. So they deliberately invade your personal space. They do that because they're trying to read your vibe while at the same time trying to drain your energy. That's why we refer to them as energy vampires. And make no mistake about it, every single narcissist will do that. They will get in your space. The third way to spot a narcissist is if they are extremely pushy. And I'm not talking about marketing strategies here. I'm talking about excessively being pushy. That excessive pushiness is very similar to when the kids are in the car and you're taking a road trip and the kids keep saying, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? The adult narcissist will be that pushy and it comes off as very, very impatient when they're not getting exactly what they want at that very moment. Let me give you an example that comes from one of the workplaces I was in for a little while. One of the narcissists who was also a delivery driver in this pizza place. And you know, everybody had to wait their turn to take the next delivery and this one would not sit still for a minute and be patient or go do something else. She kept asking, Am I up next? Am I up next? Am I up next? These top three ways to spot a narcissist come from over 20 years of observation and interacting with them. Due to their lack of control and impulsivity, they will not be able to help the baby dumb look or the overly excited eyes. They won't be able to help invading your space or being pushy. Wrapping things up, head on over to my website and check out the individual and group sessions available Tuesday through Sunday. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father and you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello everyone and welcome to the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. First time here, don't forget to hit... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, where was I going? What?
but it's the same. No, but it's the same. <laughs> now the adult narcissist will have the exact same look and that is what Now I'm going to give you an example. If you pay close enough attention, you will see an overly... Excited! Oh, narcissist. <laughs> Quick recap. I think some people want to be heard in the background. Wrapping things up, be sure to head, uh, <laughs> head. <laughs>